Today on AFL TV, we bought five pounds of Legos off the internet. Let's see what's inside. Welcome back to the channel. As mentioned in the opening, we bought five pounds of Lego off the internet. We bought it from a site called Etsy.com and we ordered from Bricks from Colorado. Here you'll find a bunch of different offerings. Um, and we actually went with the five pound lot, which is right here. Um, it's roughly 50 bucks before tax and it only took you know, about a week and a half to get to us from Colorado. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. We haven't opened it yet. I don't know what's inside, uh, but we're gonna pour it out and show you guys and react pretty much at the same time. So let's do it. Okay, interesting. There are multiple bags. I actually kind of like that. It probably helps from getting scratches as much. Um, we also got a base plate, it looks like. Okay, so we have three main bags. Let me hold them up, show you guys what's inside. It's bag number two. And here's the last one. This one seems like the heaviest. All right, I'm gonna dump these out so we can see what is in each one. I'm gonna start with the smallest one first. Here we go. A bunch of smaller pieces it looks like and some built items. Oh, we got a separator. All right, some mocks it looks like. Definitely a lot of smaller pieces. And it looks like some with stickers. Got some window pieces. Those are always handy. All right, bag number two, here we go. Let's see what's in here, it's a bigger bag. Looks like some larger pieces already coming out, some base plates, I'm sorry, plates. Oh look, I think it's a kitchen. Yeah, cause look, here's the stove. So somebody threw a kitchen in here. <laughs> Uh, got some windscreens. It's interesting, it's not as many individual pieces as I would have thought. It's actually kind of a mix of things. Okay, so we got uh, one of my favorite curved glass pieces. Um, there are some scuffs on it, but that's to be expected with used pieces. Some other ones as well. Pretty good mix. Here's the third bag. Looks like another pretty good mix of bigger pieces. We have some plates in there. Um, more windows, windscreens. More builds. All right, I'm gonna move these around. If you guys see anything that you really like or that you think stands out, make sure you comment below. Um, it's gonna take a while, obviously, to separate and sort everything, but I'd love to get your guys' feedback on what you think is in here. And I'm just gonna continue to kind of move this around so you guys can get a pretty good look at what all comes in the bag. And again, this is a random assortment. From my understanding, they go around the state looking for garage sales, everything else. They wash the pieces before sending them to you. I will say everything seems pretty clean. Um, so I've been impressed with that. And there are scratches, but that's to be expected with used parts. So overall, it's pretty good quality. All right, here's a closer look at everything. Again, comment below what you guys see. I would love to know your opinions on, you know, what you think are the most important pieces here, what you guys would, you know, pay the most for. And if you think overall it's a pretty good deal, let me know in the comments.
Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, again, let us know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you next time for the next video. Again, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook as at AFWeld.tv. Uh, thanks again for watching.